morning hello welcome to your home school this is your third session of your coordinate geometry uh, last two sessions we have done introduction part and also first exercise today in this session we are going to do second exercise before second exercise we are going to derive the two formulas which we already have done in our first exercise distance formula how it is derived okay both at a time we thought of discussing so i am doing now here let's have a look what's this distance formula distance formula already know it is a d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square how it is derived okay have a look here uh, this is your x axis x dash y y dash all this you already know here uh, there are four quadrants first quadrant second third and fourth quadrants so here i have drawn a line segment here line segment uh so look over here there are two end points uh, where are these two end points and what is the distance of the line segment how could you find this for this i am going to draw a perpendicular please have a look carefully uh so draw a perpendicular draw a perpendicular let me mark here a and let me mark here b okay finally i'm going to join the line and it is perpendicular to uh, bd draw ac which is perpendicular to bd so look over here now you can see some triangle here what is this triangle it is a right angled triangle so with this we are going to start a derivation so here where is this a how do you find this a don't know i don't know two coordinates right let us assume let the first coordinate be x1 y1 second coordinate be x2 y2 so now x1 y1 means here it might be x1 and x2 y2 means this will be x2 right i all following what i am doing here so same thing you draw this sign so what it will be it will be y1 and if you draw perpendicular here it will be y2 so normal example let me say here suppose if you have here a uh, one this might be 2 and this might be 3 okay so what is this distance i am going to ask i don't know this so for that what we are going to do from here origin origin how many units you have here three units in three units we don't want one unit so 3 minus 1 will be 2 similarly if we have a number we do in that pattern without a number or without a coordinate how can you do this so from here to it is x2 units and from origin to it will be x1 units only this length if you need then it will be written as x2 minus x1 is it clear children so here i need the distance of ac or ed how could you find this coordinate minus this coordinate x2 minus x1 coming similarly what is the length of bc what is the length of bc here see the perpendicular this side then this will be y2 this will be y1 what is this distance here y2 minus y1 and this will be x2 minus x1 children is it clear now you can say a right angle triangle there so what is your question here find the length of ab find the distance between two coordinates ab so you forget about all this forget about all this and just remember only a right angled triangle only right angle triangle a c b what is this one x2 minus x1 and this will be y2 minus y1 and what you need to find the distance will be d let us assume with the letter d 
Now apply Pythagoras theorem. Already we know this Pythagoras theorem. What is this Pythagoras theorem? In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. Have a look here. What is your hypotenuse? Square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. So what is AB? D, D square is equal to AC. X2 minus X1 whole square. What is BC? Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Now remove square. Instead of removing square, what we are going to do? Apply the square root on RHS. X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. This is a tiny distance formula. Once again, I repeat, a line segment where we don't know the two coordinates. Let the first coordinate be X1, Y1, second coordinate be X2, Y2 and you need to find the Distance of AB, let it be D. So now for that what I have done, I have drawn AC which is perpendicular to BD. Okay, join BD, uh, draw perpendiculars AE and BD and again draw perpendicular AC which is perpendicular to BD. Now you can say right angle triangle. If you want to apply anything, you should know the length of the sides. So what is AC? X2 minus X1. What is BC? Y2 minus Y1. Take your right angle aside. It, it is uh, very clear if you take out separately. So now it is a right angle and a C. Square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. If you are going to apply, you are going to get the distance formula. Already we have discussed distance uh, in order of only this. You may write it as D is equal to square root of X1 minus X2 whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 whole square. Okay children, this is your derivation of your distance formula. Let's see the section formula. What is this section formula? It is also similar but let's see. Uh, <coughs> so again a line segment. Line joining points X1, Y1. X2, Y2. Look over here. Same pattern. What you are having? It is a line segment. Line joining coordinates AB. Okay. Is divided with the point PX, Y in the ratio M1 is to M2. Okay. What is this coordinate is your question. Okay. Why do we need the section formula? In order to find the P coordinate. How could we do this? Same pattern. Let's draw the perpendicular. See here carefully. Uh, A, X1, Y1. Right? Draw perpendicular. What is this coordinate on X axis? X1. And again from P. What is this coordinate? X. Again draw a perpendicular from B. It will be X2. Children see carefully in the coordinate first one we are writing here because it will be lying on x axis x x2 okay then again uh, just draw a perpendicular to this one okay again from this point draw a perpendicular so in your textbook you already have the letters let's use the same letter here this will be Q and this will be C. Uh, R, S, T given. No need actually R, S, T. No problem. Let's stick. Okay. So now, once again I repeat. A line segment A, B. Okay. A line segment joining points. Joining coordinates A, B is divided internally at a point P. X comma Y in the ratio M1 is to M2. M1 is to M2. So what did we do? We need to find P of X, Y, right? I have drawn perpendiculars and made to join at Q. So you can see here two triangles. 
Okay, let's see here clearly. So, this is Q, this is A, this is P, C, B. See carefully. Now again, two right angle triangles you can see. Uh, angle Q, compare, compare the two right angle triangles. Angle Q is equal to angle C. Why? It is right angle. And again, angle A is equal to angle P. Why? Uh, you already know these all rules. Uh, angles lying on the same line, corresponding angles will be equal. Okay, these two angles are corresponding angles. If two angles are equal according to angle-angle criteria, you can say the two triangles are similar. What you can say here children? If you consider the right angle triangle A, Q, uh, P and right angle triangle B, C, P. First set, angle Q is equal to angle C. Reason, right angle it is given data. Then again, angle A is equal to angle P. Reason, corresponding angles. If two angles are equal, by angle-angle similarity criteria, what you can say here, by angle-angle similarity criteria, a right angle triangle AQP is a similar to right angle triangle BCP. If they are similar, okay, if they are similar, what we can say? The ratios are in proportion. If they are similar, the ratios are in proportion. Which ratios? AP by PB. Look over here carefully. AP by PB is equal to AQ by PC is equal to PQ by BC. So, I think up to here it is clear. So, once again, I have taken the two right angle triangles, compared and then made they are similar. If they are similar, the ratios are in proportion. Okay, up to here I have done next what I have to do. So, what is AP? What is PB? Those all we don't know, right? Let's see this and we are going to write. What is AQ? Same manner, same we have done in your distance formula. Now, what is AQ? So, this is X minus X1. Write carefully. And what is PC? What is PC here? X2 minus X. Same pattern, you have to find BC also. So, if you want, you can do this. And this will be Y2, this will be Y and this will be Y1. Now what is the distance between PQ? Y minus Y1. So it's clumsy here. No problem. Here I'll write Y2 minus Y. Children, please look here carefully. What the coordinate you are writing here? X1, Y1. X, Y. X2, Y2. On X axis and Y axis we are labeling that. Now, separate triangles any have there? No? Let me write here. What is this? X minus X1. What is PQ? Y minus Y1. What is AP? M1, PB, M2, PC, X2 minus X. PC will be Y2 minus Y. I think to substitute in this ratio, all the sides are ready. Let's substitute here. AP, M1. PB, M2. AQ, X minus X1 by X2 minus X is equal to PQ. What is PQ? Y minus Y1 by Y2 minus Y. Now, now what we are going to do? Compare this ratios and this ratios. We are going to get something. Let's say start here. M1 by M2 is equal to X minus X1 by X2 minus X. Okay. Cross multiply. Uh, M1 into X2 minus X is equal 
equal to m2 into x minus x1. So now multiply m1 x2 minus m1 x is equal to m2 x minus m2 x1. So bring, uh, is there anything common here? X, same you have x. So bring all x terms, one side, other terms, another side. So what I am going to do here? Uh, which one? Let's take this one, that side. M1 x2, bring this side. M2 x1 is equal to M1 x plus M2 x. Look here children. This minus M1 x if you bring to the RHS side. You are going to get plus M1 x plus M2 x. This one M1 x2 minus M2 x1 if you bring this side. Plus M2 x1. Look here again. So in this anything is common? No. RHS part x is common. So let's take common here. X into M1 plus M2. And this will be M1 X2 plus M2 X1. Okay. Finally bring this this side. At a time reverse. X is equal to M1 X2 plus M2 X1 by M1 plus M2. This is only half of your section formula is ready. In your coordinate P, coordinate X comma Y, X formula is ready. Now we should get Y formula. How do you get Y value here? All substituting this one. What is this? You are going to substitute M1 by M2 is equal to Y minus Y1 by Y2 minus y2 minus y. Okay. So look here carefully. So y2 minus y again cross multiplication. m1 into y2 minus y is equal to m2 into y minus y1. Multiply m1 y2 minus m1 y is equal to m2 y minus m2 y1. So now look here children, m1 y, m1 y, m2 y, oh in these two y will be common. So this will sign this side and this term this side. So m1 y2 plus m2 y1 is equal to, bring this this side, m1 y plus m2 y. Now in these two what is common? y is common. At a time if you want you can bring this side. M1 plus M2 full set if you interchange no sign will be changed. M1 Y2 plus M2 Y1. Finally what's your Y value? M1 Y2 plus M2 Y1 by M1 plus M2. So look here children. This is X value and this is Y value. Finally, what is your distance formula? P of x comma y is equal to with the square bracket you are going to write. What's your x value? M1 x2 plus M2 x1 by M1 plus M2. And what is your y value? M1 y2 plus M2 y1 by M1 plus M2. This is your section formula. I hope you understand this section formula. Now we are going to start up.